Hello everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome to another Create a Sim video. So today is a very special video because today is kind of the day that I go from Alpha CC over to Maxis Match CC and I'm really really excited about this because I do still love the way that Alpha CC looks. I think I always will. It's mostly the hair that I love, the clothes. I've been using Maxis Match clothing for a very long time as well as Alpha clothing. I had like a mix of them but my hair CC was all just Alpha so I am very very excited to be starting with everything just being Maxis Match because I feel like it looks so pretty and I'm so excited for this. Like this is like a fresh new start but just to say this now at the beginning of the video I will be showing the sims before every single time before I start the makeover. So I will put a photo up now of Valentine which is this sim of how she looked before and then you can basically just see her progress in the Maxis Match um, CC that I'm putting on her now and see what she's going to be looking like I will of course at the end of the video put up a bunch of photos of before and after so that you guys can just see them side by side for a better look of it but yeah I feel like putting the photo of them with the alpha CC before the makeover will just give everybody a better idea of what they look like if you do not watch my legacy challenge because these are in fact my legacy sims and I absolutely love them I, I'm looking so forward to playing with them again now that they they have their Maxis Match makeovers. I also did a CC shopping video where I got most of these clothes and hair and stuff so I'll link that video down in the description for you guys as well if you want to watch that. But yeah a lot of these CC I did not get on camera because I felt like the video would have been too long if I got everything on camera but I really am having a fun time downloading some new CC again. I haven't downloaded custom content in such a long time so starting over and now only downloading Maxis Match it's hard because I don't know of a lot of very good creators the creators I have found are all amazing and I'm obsessed but if you guys know of any other CC creators for Maxis Match custom content only that you love and that is amazing or just new creators even, people that are just starting out but who make Maxis Match custom content, I would love to find some new creators to support because these people are amazing. The fact that they can do this, it it's kind of freaky, honestly. I don't know how people do this. <laughs> But I love them for it because I cannot live without custom content in my game. It just makes everything so different and so, so much better. But yeah, let me tell you guys a little bit about my sims. If you guys do not watch my legacy challenge, this sim that I'm currently working on is going to be my heir. She is the sim that I'm going to be having babies with and going on with life, you know. <laughs> if you don't know what a legacy challenge is, basically I will link that website in the description for all of you as well but yeah this sim is going to be my main sim from now on and yeah that is why I spent the absolute most time on her like I think more than half of the video is just her and then the rest of the video is the rest of her family but yeah I had a lot of fun making her, like giving her her little makeover. She's so pretty to me and I had such a fun time to give her all of her little outfits because everything also is pretty much just pink. Um, She's a very girly girl and I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with her. She's going to be an actor and she wants to become famous. So, you know, she's really going to go for the drama. I already have a few plans for her that I think is going to be so much fun. So if you guys do want to watch my legacy challenge, I will also link that playlist for you guys down below if you do not watch it already. But yeah, basically she also has a cat. I don't know if you guys can see, but the second cat in the the little lineup down there is her cat. Her name is Penny and she's wearing a bee costume. I absolutely love the cat. And then right next to Penny is Valentine's sister 
um, Lilo and she unfortunately is going to be moving out in the next episode but I wanted to give her a makeover, makeover regardless of that because you know she's also very pretty and I love giving female sims makeovers I did also give a lot of other sims in my game makeovers right after I did this video because I obviously want everybody they know to look different otherwise there's just gonna be a lot of bold people with no clothing on and you know not that there's anything wrong with bold sims wearing only bras or, or nothing else, you know, but I would like my sims to be wearing clothing, especially since I make videos. I would not want a bunch of sims in the, basically in the nude. So, <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think about Valentine's outfits because I tried to go for a lot of girly, cute things, but at the same time keeping a bit a little bit of edge because if you don't know this she did go through a phase recently as a teenager so when she aged up I don't think she will completely lose all of the things that she believed in when she was in that phase you know so I still wanted to keep a few things a little bit edgy at least but I am very happy with how she turned out and I don't think I would change anything now I do eventually want to change her hair color to black again but I feel like I would rather have her age a bit more before I do that but yeah I am very very happy with her in fact I'm happy with how everybody turned out her father Blaine um he had a lot of clothing on already, so he's probably gonna go the fastest in this video because I did not do that much for him, but <laughs> I still think he looks better, but I, I don't really want to say this, but I think he's going to die very soon. Like, he's at the end of his life. I don't know how long he has left, but I'm very worried for him, and I didn't want to spend ages, like giving him a CC makeover and then he just dies, you know, so I feel very bad for saying it that way, but <laughs> I really do think that he's almost at the end of his life and I, I really don't want to spend a long time on, on somebody that's going to be alive for like two days, so uh, <laughs> not to to jinx myself with this because I'm gonna be playing again soon and I do not want to deal with that. I, I'm not ready to say goodbye to anybody. But I mean, he's had a good life and he was a good man. <laughs> I think, yeah, we're gonna be doing his clothing now, but I mean, look at him. Look at how old he is. He's a very, very old man, but I do really think that he looks better now, and I think he's going to be bold in one of his outfits. Yeah, he's sleeper. Don't worry, I do realize that once I'm done with this video, he does get his hair in his sleepwear because I completely, I did not see that at all when I was busy with this, but it's okay, he does get his hair, but yeah, I really did have a lot of fun doing this. I do have another ongoing series as well, which is my Human Enough Challenge, and I will, of course, give them makeovers as well. Let me know if you want to see that, or if I should just do it off camera, because I'm not sure, it's only like three sims, it's two females and one baby toddler boy um because yeah I honestly I don't know if I should do that one on video I'm thinking I'm just gonna do it off camera real quick but I really want to do that nonetheless because <laughs> I want all of my games to be maxi smash cc only from now on and yeah I just I don't really want to go on with the Alpha CC if my Legacy Challenge is now already Maxi Smash. But yeah, I am also really having a lot of fun with my Legacy Challenge. This Sim, Silver, is my founder and she has had such a fun life. I had so much fun playing with her. She was a rebel. She had a fiancé that died. If you watched this series, you would know all of this, but for those of you who do not, she had a crazy life, full of fun, full of friends, full of clubs. She was a teacher as well, which might sound a little bit weird knowing that she's also a DJ, but <laughs> uh, her life was a lot of fun to me, honestly. I'm sad that she's old, but I'm also really excited to continue on with Valentine's life, but... 
Yeah, they also have another son that was not born from Blaine. His name is Bean. He is born from her dead fiancé, but... I mean, I, I did also give him a makeover. He is just not in this video, but I also do love how he turned out. And I'm really just very happy with this whole Maxi Smash CC thing. Let me know what you guys think about it, because I don't know if everybody's going to be happy about it. But me personally, I am so, so happy to be moving on and starting this Maxi Smash journey, because I've used Alpha CC for such a long time, like as long as I can remember, it's been Alpha CC. I've never even dabbled in Maxi Smash, but I love the way that it looks. I scroll on my Twitter and then I see all of these fantastic Maxi Smash creators posting about their stuff and just being absolutely awesome. And then I just want everything that they make. I want all of the hairs. I want everything. But then I realize, oh, my entire YouTube is based off of. Of these sims that all have alpha cc so i'm just gonna make the change now that my channel is still pretty small and i'm going to just go ahead and switch over to maxi smash cc where not a lot of people hopefully is going to mind that i'm switching over but let me know what type of cc you use if you do use custom content at all because i know console players cannot which is unfortunate but i mean at least you can play the game the game is fun in itself as well but <laughs> But yeah, this is Lilo. This is the twin sister that I was talking about. They are definitely not identical twins, which I find very interesting. They are, I think, maternal twins. Is that what you call it? Is it maternal twins? or I, I have no idea. But you get the point. They're not identical. But I still love Lilo very much. She is in a committed relationship with a friend of a Valentine's. Her name is Anissa. So that is very exciting to me. I did also, just so that I clarify this now, I did make Anissa um, able to get other Sims pregnant. So Lilo will be able to get pregnant if they do end up together. So it's not going to be like, oh, they cannot have children but I do also think they could have adopted children I just like it more when my sims can genetically pass on my founder's genes you know <laughs> but yeah I am really really excited to play this um this legacy again because yeah we also recently moved to Hanford and Bagley thank you to the wheel spin that decided that for me but I am so excited to build the house as well and start playing in an entirely new world because I don't know I was kind of over Windenburg not Windenburg like itself but the lot that I was on I was kind of I wasn't feeling it anymore but yeah, I'm really, really excited to continue playing and start a new generation completely. But yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about all of these Sims and all of their makeovers. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody! Mm -hmm.